Good afternoon, and welcome to another segment of the Worth Report for April 11th. Keep America vigilant to 23. Special Access. It's being revealed that the Biden White House was directly involved in the events which precipitated the raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago after denying any knowledge or involvement. They directly requested that the FBI gain access to the 15 boxes of documents on behalf of the Department of Justice in order to look for a crime that was never there. As Joe Biden signs a bill ending the national COVID-19 emergency, the third Democrat inside a month switches to the Republican Party and a Tennessee city council reinstates the rogue Democrat lawmaker that was recently expelled. First to Nashville, where the Nashville City Council has unanimously voted to reinstate Democrat Justin Jones, who was previously expelled when he led an insurrection-style protest over gun legislation at the state capitol. Absolute crooks, folks. Next to Louisiana, where State Rep Jeremy Lacombe has announced that he's leaving the Democratic Party and is registering as a Republican. He's the second Democrat in less than a month to switch parties in the state, and the third nationwide, following Tristan Cotham in North Carolina. Now to the big story. America First Legal, through new National Archives documents, has revealed that the Biden White House was directly involved with the Mar-a-Lago raid on President Trump regarding alleged classified documents. As it turns out, Biden's White House, who previously swore they knew nothing about it and were surprised at the news of the raid, actually facilitated the FBI's examination of the documents through a, quote, special access request, quote, on behalf of the Department of Justice. According to acting archivist Deborah Wall, the Department of Justice, quote, from this point on, we're not allowed to say or show you what we're about to on this platform, or we'll almost certainly be punished for it. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning, You know that YouTube had previously labeled our content as, quote, harmful to the public and nearly banned us permanently on at least two separate occasions. So please, join us for the rest of this segment at theworfreport.com where we can say exactly what we want without fear of censorship, suppression, or the banning of our account for only $1.99 a month or $15 a year. But hurry, because this price will be gone forever this month. But for those of you already subscribed, your price will never change. And for all the trolls out there who don't like our business model, no need to comment. Just keep scrolling. We clearly have our reasons. For everyone else, your support helps us do what we do. See you there.